everyone and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Thanks a lot for clicking on my video today. I really appreciate your time and attention very much. If you like what you see, you like my videos, the tips, the advice, and the content, of course, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe today if you haven't already. All right, so I just wanted to show you this really quick. This is kind of a spontaneous video here. I I realized I never have shown you this little design that I set up for teaching and sometimes when I go to the shows uh, like in Long Beach or Vegas you know the ISS shows the trade shows and stuff for screen printing once in a blue moon we actually set this uh, four color design up uh, and I actually teach a multicolor class with this four color design so I thought I'd just quickly show you a print of that today because it's kind of a complex piece of artwork. It's what I would call a four color spot and dot, <laughs> right? You know, the spot and dot. So it's got spot colors and some half tones in it that, that create a little bit of color uh, in the flowers and stuff. It's a very California type motif or theme that we did for Ranar and Catspit. All right, so here's the full design, and you can see the four color spot and dot works very well on the white t-shirt. Okay, and this design was created specifically for white t-shirts. We could not print this on any other color t-shirt without reconfiguring it a little bit uh, to work on a dark t-shirt or a black t-shirt. Of course, it would have to have a white underbase, and then we would have to knock out the black or add the black, depending on you know what color shirt it is. But this design is specifically designed for white t-shirts. I think it came out pretty cool, and the color separation is really actually pretty nifty because the yellow, you know, does the surfboard and the hair, the blonde hair, and then the little half tone of the yellow is the flash. You know, yeah, she's a little bit yellow looking, but it does a pretty good job of recreating a flesh tone when you look at the image as a whole. So it's very, very cool, you know, how you can create these different colors or looks, you know, with the spot and dot effect, right? By using a full spot color of the yellow and then a percentage half tone of the yellow. And that's what we did here and you know it works in the flowers and in the flesh tones it's pretty cool came out very well and i might also add that the registration on this particular job is but but as we call it and it's very tight and it's critical to get it in very precisely so you know it, but on the other hand you know there is a certain amount of filling in you know, or dot gain as we call it. We call it dot gain with half tones, but it also occurs with spot colors as too. The bleed or the fill. As you print, you know, the ink is gonna bleed outside of the stencil a little bit and most likely fill in any slight gaps you might have in butt butt registration. So in my opinion, you know, butt butt registration isn't as hard as most people think. The blue screen worked out really good. It has a nice uh, gradient of, you know, pure dark royal blue, dark royal blue, you know, royal blue to some light powder blues. And again, this is all done with half tone. So the blue screen is one screen, as you saw in the beginning of the video, and it's creating all of these blue tones that you see here. Here's a nice close-up shot of one of the flowers. And, um, you know, I think it's pretty cool. 
the yellow highlight in the red flower works very well and I probably wouldn't change the print order of this you know because you could print the red or the yellow first you know we printed the yellow first here and then the red but if you reverse that and printed the red first and then the yellow then you know the yellow or the red would be more dominant you know what I'm saying or vice versa <laughs> whichever color you print last should be more dominant so if we did the yellow first and then the red the red would be more dominant if we do the red first and then the yellow the yellow should be more dominant it's also important to note that when you're doing half tones like this a design like this can really fail if you put it on the wrong t-shirt meaning if the t-shirt has a really gaping knit you're going to lose a lot of the halftone dot and on this shirt this was a Gildan 5000 and you can see in the halftone of the flash that there's a little bit of you know variations which actually I think adds to the print um, but that I believe is is from the you know the knit pattern in the uh, in the garment itself so the smoother and finer the knit surface is the better the print result will be okay so it's pretty cool right that that's um you know pretty easy to print it is designed to print on white shirts only we never set it up to print on black shirts or anything like that uh, you might be able to print it on like an, a natural or an off-white but basically this design will look best on white and uh, you know the half tone of the yellow was pretty cool that worked out quite well so it was a pretty cool little design that I really don't print it and I really don't give these shirts away because it's kind of too colorful colorful for me <laughs> I don't wear so much color so I never really printed these but uh, I wanted to share this print with you today so you could at least see uh, sometimes I do set up some complex stuff and uh, you know since we had the class or, or you know the teaching I did and it was set up I figured I would share it with you so I hope you enjoyed that today thanks a lot for watching my videos I really appreciate your time and attention very much thank you for watching and we will see you next time